Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habta fillah the question was asked uh, what are good books for the beginner light books to study or a program that will help one be adherent to the Salafi Dawah to the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah Dawah to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam so there are many or this question has been posed many times to the scholars and I know there's various translations out there of important books for the beginner and first I would suggest uh, returning and looking at some of those uh, translations that give you tojihad or give you direction on which uh, books to study. What I would advise in accordance with what I've read and what I've studied uh, and questions posed to ulama'ina, to our scholars, is first is reading the Quran often. And a way that you can, uh, if you don't know Arabic and you can't read, uh, recite the Quran, of course that is imperative that you learn how to recite the Quran, at least, uh, you know, learning some basic tajweed and reading. But for now, suffice with a lot of reading uh, of the English translation. And secondly, of course, reading hadith from Bukhari and Muslim. As far as a study program, as a beginner, then books like al Asula Thalatha, which has been explained by many scholars and explained also, it's translated into English. And you can, a lot of this material you can find free. You can download free on the internet. So that is the great ni'mah min ni'amillah uh, in this time that you have so much access to free knowledge and so I would suggest downloading uh, some explanations if you can find Ben Othay means I think that's very in-depth uh, and other ulama like Ben Baz and others that have explained or uh, Fozan that have been translated into English either that or purchase them that is an excellent place to start for Akita and some basic grounding in Tawheed and some of the Masail some basic usul, some basic usul ad-deen uh, and at the same time listening to the explanations of the students of knowledge uh, and there are so many recorded lectures uh, of many of the students of knowledge out there that you can listen to in mp3 or you can watch YouTube and and so on and so forth from Tulab uh, al-Ilm, students of knowledge uh, from Ahlul Sunnah. Uh, likewise, another important book that is uh, basic and also important to gain a grasp of is um, also other books like Kuwaid uh, Al Arba, the four principles. This is also a more uh, a basic book, which also will give you a grounding and a study of shirk and of, of what is shirk and tawheed. Some of those masail, uh, which are pertinent to understanding uh, shirk and tawheed. And there's also explanations. I believe uh, Sheikh Abdulaziz Raji has an explanation that's translated and free in English. You can download in PDF. Uh, also, Usul Sitta. So those books are all good because they are dealing with issues of Tawheed and Shirk and helping you to gain uh, a solid footing in Aqidah. As far as something uh, to be well-rounded, also Read the Tafsir of Jews Amma, you know, the 30th Jews of the Quran. Uh, read the Tafsir in English as well. If you can get Imam Asadis or uh, Tafsir ibn Kathir, 
uh, and just reading that and becoming familiar with the meaning of those verses which are often recited uh, in the uh, during the, the Salat and that we also uh, rehearse often to come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. Um, in addition to that, to the tafsir and, and so on and so forth, is also you can get free uh, Baluga Maram and Riyadh Salihin. And now I know this is expanding, but I'm just giving you some good basic books in several different uh, sciences in Islam to give you, uh, uh, you know, get you well grounded, and if nothing else, to get you familiar just by reading. Kethra Takira. This is so important to read as much as possible to help yourself get grounded. So those first books in Akita, those are ones you can study. The other ones you can also find some explanations of some of the abwa, and you can also purchase the explanations of probably Ben Othaymin and some others for in English uh, as far as Uriyal the Salihin. And that is an absolutely fantastic um, and beautiful book and an important book by Imam Anoa'i, Rahmatullahi Rahmatin Wasiya, which also gives you a important uh, spiritual growth and tarbia, you know, the educational educating your spirit, educating your your love for the believers, educating you how to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from patient, how to be patient, how to have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how to gain taqwa Allah azza wa jal, all those ahadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Imam Anawawi has uh, given you one of the most fantastic and accepted uh, text to grow with. So that's a very important book to read. Uh, also to study is uh, Armain Anoawi, also by Imam Anoawi, and a fantastic book for Tarbiya and the Deen, for Usul al-Deen, for Aqidah and manners and all of those things, Suluk and, and Adab, all those things that you, you need, that the Muslim really needs for their spiritual growth. And so I would say those are some of the important books to begin with. And if you can start also with a metan or a text in fiqh, then this is beautiful. Like, I don't know uh, all the texts that are translated, but um to fiqh, which is beautiful. A Hanbali book, or if you have another background, if you have a Hanafi background, or you have uh, some other background, uh, then you can read a book that's accepted in your madhab uh, and just learning just to become familiar with the Masail. That doesn't mean you're going to blind follow, but it means to get familiar with the issues that the Fuqaha talked about, how they uh, uh, made tabweeb, you know, how they they, they they organized their text and organized the Masail and the Dalail and the evidence for the, uh, for the text. Uh, and so that will help you become, get you well grounded as much as you can to listen and just go through whatever you're able to do. If you're able to listen to two books at once, Alhamdulillah, if it's just one, then listen to one and focus on one uh, at a time. And this will help you and uh, help you to increase in your knowledge. Uh, and the last thing I will say is not to busy yourself in the beginning of your talab, in the beginning of your studies, to busy yourself a moment with ma la tunfa bi, or ma la ma fi munafa. Don't busy yourself with those things which have no benefit or have little benefit. And one of the things I will say, because it's a sad criticism that some of the Hizbis make of some of the Salafi uh, awam or, or lay persons in the West especially. Now, we, I don't know those same issues are with the lay people in Indonesia and the lay people in, uh, in, in, in um, Ethiopia and so forth, but definitely in the West we have this problem where we have so many people who did not focus at all on those other sciences in Tarbia, but they know so much about how to warn against 
uh, for example, the Duat. They know how to, they know mistakes that they believe Tahir Wyatt has made. They know what Muhammad Munir has said. They know what Shadid Muhammad said. They know Abdul, uh, Abu Khadija wrote it this one or that he made a mistake here. They know that Bilal Davis said this. They know all of these things, but they don't know much of the Book of Allah and they don't know, they don't know Athkar. They don't know how to, uh, any, Memorize Ethkar on how to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they don't know Even extensively any Dalil for Tawheed and they don't know anything for The wujub of Salat. So this is a mistake that many of us fell in because that was the tarbiyah we were given and so I advise you strongly against that to worry about who's on and off it but focus on keeping yourself on it Focus on that as you gain more knowledge and that you can look into those issues and that those issues become more relevant for you Then okay as you you increase your knowledge, but don't begin and spend your time in that and I promise you I can think of countless people countless people who focused who've been focusing on those issues for years They've been supposedly on the Salafi Dawah for 5, 10, 15 years. And they have an advance in knowledge. They may not even have memorized one ayat in 15 years. Some people are to that extent. But yet, they can tell you the mistakes, for example, of Shadid Muhammad. Or they can tell you that Bilal Phillips said this. Or they can tell you that so-and-so made such and such mistakes or so-and-so is a hisbi. They can tell you, they can even tell you about scholars who they don't even speak Arabic, meaning the scholars speak Arabic and these people don't speak Arabic, but they can tell you that they are mistaken or that they're followers of Ma'rabi. So this is a very strange way of tarbiyah and it wasn't known to the Salaf. And we don't even really have much of a history, I think, in Islam of this kind of tarbiyah from my knowledge that people would busy with this and they don't know anything about what it is to be from Ahl Sunnah. They don't know any of the usul of Ahl Sunnah. They don't even know how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on fiqh and basira. So this is my general advice. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.